Hello, my dysfunctional family. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing great. Hope you guys are too. So today I have a I guess it's a more of a funny story than anything else again, but it's in school Clearly because all the weird stuff that happens to be happens in school But not really but a lot of them that I can remember off the top of my head right now And just because I'm going right back into school is stuff that happened to me in school And so today I've got a story about eighth grade um, Like this you guys know how it is whenever you guys are in school There's always that one at least that one teacher that is just a total dick, total bitch, however you want to say it, male or female, whatever. But, like, there's always that one teacher that just treats everybody and everything like shit, and it pisses me off. I'm sure it pisses you off. And they just have a bad attitude about everything that happens, and it's, uh, but anyways. So, 8th grade... Um, I think it was my chemistry class in 8th grade. It wasn't necessarily chemistry. It was more like, um, I guess physics in a way. Physics and chemistry mixed together. It's like the introduction. And so we were, um, we, we were, ended up going to the library that day to write a report out. And this teacher, named Mr. G., Mr. G, he takes us up to the, um, he takes us up to the library to write the rest of our report. We're doing, I can't remember what the report was on. I think we're making foam, or not foam, yeah, foam airplanes. And we had to do a report on how we made the plane with our groups, um, how much material we used, how far it went after we threw it, um, stuff like that, just general, general stuff. And so my buddy, um, I'm just gonna call him Tony right now. You know who you are, Tony. But um, Tony and I were sitting right beside each other because we were two of the people in our group. It was like a group of four or five. And we did most of the work, so we're sitting there writing a the report, but of course we're talking because, I mean, we're 8th graders and who doesn't talk in 8th grade, but we, we're, we're idiots, so we're sitting there talking, and I have a couple of my buddies across the room from a different group, and they decide to start having a yelling match on who can say semen the loudest. And so, you hear... My buddy from across the room, Seaman. You hear my buddy, Seaman. You hear the kid from my buddy from across the room, Seaman. And you hear my buddy, Seaman. And and Mr. G turns just turns around, so the librarian. You're like, Hunter, be quiet. And I'm just like, I didn't say anything, but okay, sorry. And then they go on and they keep on going. They're like. Semen. They start over pretty much. And they're like, semen, semen. Progressively to where it got louder and louder. And Tony said it. And Mr. G sits there and says, Hunter, what did I say about talking in the library? You're saying inappropriate words. Stop it or next time you're moving. And I'm like, it wasn't me. He's like, I don't want any back talk. I'm like, you know what, whatever. I'm not going to argue. So I just went on with my work. And about... I bet say 10 15 minutes later near the end of class I got like 10 minutes left of class and I'm sitting there typing out the report getting everything done typing everything out hope hoping that I don't get yelled at again for something fucking retarded and my buddies get into the who can yell semen the loudest once again and all you heard from Good buddy from across the room, Seaman, and my friend, my Tony, sits there, Seaman, and then my other friends keep saying it, and Tony keeps saying it, and I'm starting to get pissed, because I know that I'm going to fucking get yelled at again, probably, and he then he, Mr. he they, finally, Tony yells it loud enough, and he, but, that Mr. G and the librarian 
let Mr. G and the Librarian hear it. And, and here Tony, semen at the top of his lungs. And then Mr. G walks over and says, Hunter, move your seat. Get, you're going to a table, get a laptop and move. And I'm like, I didn't say anything. He says, I don't want to hear any back talk, move. And I'm like, are you serious? He's like, Hunter, I said to move. Get up and move. Like, he's saying inappropriate words and you're yelling in a library. You're not supposed to be doing it. You're not supposed to be talking in the library. So, get up and move. Yeah. And I got moved and in trouble. I got a detention that day for my buddies and specifically Tony yelling fucking semen at the top of the lungs of the fucking library where we're writing a report. Ah, semen. Semen of all things. But, um, yeah, so that's pretty much the story for today. I'm going to try to be getting on a more consistent basis, guys, with how how consistent I am with um, posting and stuff. Hopefully, I can post a lot more consistent. I don't know if I will be able to or not, but if I can't, I'm sorry. I should be able to. I don't see why I shouldn't, um... But um, with work and stuff, and everybody getting home at, right after I get home from school, my sisters, my, one of my sisters just moved downstairs a couple weeks ago. She's asking why I'm making these videos. My family doesn't really know that I make YouTube videos yet, and I'm going to progressively let them figure that out because I'm not going to expose them to the shit that I post about. So, yeah. Um, hopefully I can get more consistent. Um, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash the like button. Um, comment your stories down below. I'd love to hear them. Love to read them. Um, share this video with your friends. Spread the word that the videos are out. That they're that the channel's going, going good. Um, and yeah, guys, peace.